Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're in this little drain beside two schools. It's actually a pretty cool area. We've got Billy behind the camera today. He wanted to come out and shoot some videos with me. So let's see what we can catch. He reckons that we can get some pretty good, uh, what, guppies? <laughs> guppies. Yeah, some really nice looking guppies. He showed me some pictures of the ones he's caught down here. So yeah, like, I'm gonna chuck this trap in. I've got a second trap there. I'm gonna use these hot dogs today for bait. And uh, we're gonna get a net and try and net through this really shallow area and see if we can get any. So, see what happens. Pressure's on, man. It is. <laughs> Alright, guys, got the hot dog. I'm just chucking it straight into the trap. And, um, yeah, see, there's, it's really shallow here, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to, like. I can't see any movement in here, but Billy promises me there's fish in here, so hopefully we get some. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just going to use Billy's scoop net here because I forgot mine, so see if we can scoop some stuff up along here and uh, we already pulled out a couple of females that we've got in this tank here which we'll have a look at, but hopefully we can pull up some males and see if we get anything cool out of here. Alright guys, here we go. Got a nice little fish here. Finally caught one. Ooh. Let's have a look. Nice purpley coloured with an orange tail. Something a bit different. We did bring a tank here to view them in, so we'll have a look once we get a couple. Got a couple of females here. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. This is what we're hoping to find here. These are a lot less different to your wild ones because these are more more pet shoppy. But look at that. It's got the snakeskin's tail. Billy caught a couple of snakeskin males down here. And we're hoping to find a couple more because that's so weird seeing those in the wild. That's only a female though, so hopefully we can catch a snakeskin male because that'll look awesome, guys. So. Oh man, <laughs> can't believe that, eh? That's sick. I thought you were taking piss out of me at those snakes again. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. What is that, like a carp gudgeon? That was unexpected. That's a pretty big one too. I'll let him go. That's a massive day. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go guys. Look at this. Oh man. We'll have to get these in the container, but hopefully we can get a quick look at this guy here. Look at that. Snake skin, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> How is that possible? That's awesome, seeing the snake skin literally in a waterway like that. Wow. But yeah, there's a few in here and we got, looks like we got the, what the hell? What is that? It's like a golden guppy female. But we also got one of the regular pests, the sword tail. But yeah, guppies, man. We'll have to put these in and have a look at them. guys we just got dog food in this trap we're gonna set it try get it underneath these weeds if it can fit under there and maybe that'll save us some time like having the net through because they're definitely all pulled up under these weeds here so I'm gonna keep giving it a couple more scoops but yeah I think we just got some footage Billy just took some footage of the tank and um, there's some really awesome looking ones in there so I can't wait to have a look at them when we get home but yeah Alright guys, we'll have a look at these. This is what we've netted up so far, me and Billy. It's not a lot, but um, wow, some really nice colored ones in there. I'm actually astounded. We got the one sword tail. I think, I 
thought we had a second one, but maybe we don't. Um, but yeah, look at all these colors, man. Like there's so, there's a lot of snake skins in there. A lot of orange ones, like that orange jeans very strong in these fish. But yeah, so weird to see this, like that snake skin right there, crazy. All right, so we're gonna check the traps. And yeah, we'll see if we get anything else and then we're gonna head home and take a look at these fish a bit closer up and um, yeah, see see if we got anything interesting in these traps at least. But we got some interesting ones in there, which is like really cool. All right, trap number one. We have four traps out. Um, got a couple of, well, okay. What's this? How'd this get in here? That's a Malaysian trumpet snail, guys. Invasive pest. Interesting. I've never seen these in the wild. Chuck that in the tank. We can have a look at it later. But um, yeah, we got some guppies in here. A couple of big fat females. Not not a lot of guppies. Not like last guppy video I did. But there's still some around. I think it's because we're coming into winter. I think like they're just like thinning out a bit. So get these guys out and put them in the viewing container. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Pulling in trap number two. Looks like we have it. Wow, okay, <laughs> look at these guys, more guppies in here. The hot dog really did a treat here. Let's see if the uh, dog treats did anything too. But yeah, I'll get these guys out, they just... Can't wait to take a closer look at these. But yeah, get these into the viewing container. And then we'll check the other two traps which we ended up putting um, under the reeds where we were netting a lot of them off. So maybe we'll have a bit more luck there and what we caught and maybe we'll have a lot more in those traps guys. Trap number three, this is dog food and bread we're using this one. And we tucked it under the reeds here. Absolutely, oh wait, yeah, there's one, there's one. Maybe a couple more, we'll see. I only just put this one in about 10 minutes ago though, so. Yeah, have a look at this guy. This is the only one we got in there, but he's got a lot of color on him. That's cool. He's like very wild looking. Anything else in here? Nah, nothing else in there. No. Oh wait, one more, one more. Alright, just one little male here. Chuck him in. Alright guys, this one's tucked in under these reeds here. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, we got more in this one. So let's have a look. Oh, what is that? Got something big in here. I'm not sure if it's a guppy or a gudgeon, though. Let's have a look. Massive gudgeon, there you go. No guppies. Hmm. These guys are fat, though, because they've been feeding on all the guppy fry, which is good. Like, these guys are good at feeding on small things that are moving. And we got a second gudgeon in here as well. No guppies in there though. That's so strange, guys, to see that there's no guppies in that trap considering we were netting onto these reeds and like that. We'll catch them. But yeah. Alright guys, so stay tuned. We've got some stuff we're gonna feed Chunky Boy. I know you guys love that one. You've been commenting and asking for more, so we'll get on to that. And yes, like honestly, really an awesome spot. Thanks Willie for taking me here. Like it was really great coming in, find some really cool, unique guppies. So stay tuned for the next part of the video, guys. Alright guys, it's the next day after yesterday catching the fish and um, I did do a feeding of Chunky yesterday with some of this fish and I posted it on my TikTok, you can go check that out, links in the description but today we're going to give him another feeding of some of these guppies Ooh. Looks like he's having a bit of fun chasing him around.
Look at some like the color on these is like. They're not like super wild, like they're still got some coloration on them. Look at him, what is he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Hopefully he, like turns around and you can see his shoulders are like super thick. Look at that, look at that. He is thick, guys. Thick. So he's probably about like five months, maybe six months old. I'm not 100% sure obviously how old they are when I bought them. Like, I would assume they'd be like a couple months old when you buy them, but um, yeah, look at the size of him now. Look at him go. I promise next video I'll take him out and I'll measure him. He's, look at that. He's, I want to say he's about 25. But maybe not. Maybe just under. He's got so much power in his body. Like, he's just a big chunk, man. That's why we called him Chunky Boy. He's like a slab of meat, basically. Let's see if he picks this one off here. Come on, get him. I was trying to feed the other Barramundi, the Barry. I haven't really featured him on this channel yet. He's very shy eater. Very, very shy eater. Like, I put a bunch in yesterday for, to film a TikTok video feeding him. And, um... Oh, there you go. I put a bunch of the uh, guppy in yesterday in his tank to try and feed him for TikTok and he really wasn't that interested in it. He um, it just like kind of like ignored it while I was trying to film. I think he ate one on camera but then like he just like went shy and just ate him in his own time. I bet he likes the plants. Like I know he probably likes having like a few plants to sit in amongst why wouldn't he and honestly it's more of like a sport for him like to go around and be able to like ambush these uh fish you know like he can just come up from underneath and he's, it's like a game for him now like it's not like you know this is how they would be in the wild they got to look for their food so he gets some time to like look around do some hunting like he's in the wild so I guess having some plants in the tank is still really good because it keeps the game alive. There's some over here, come on. Over here. There's a few guppies sitting up here. Let's see if we can get his attention up there. No. Oh, here we go. Get him. Go. Look at him, how he's just poised like that, just like, it's like Jaws coming up. Oh, what? <laughs> it was like Jaws, it was like the, you know the picture of Jaws, like he's coming up to eat the chick that's swimming? That was so creepy. Wow. <laughs> You're doing a good job there, mate, getting rid of these invasive pests. Anyways, guys, Chunky Boy's looking good though, so... Yeah, stay tuned for the next video. You'll probably have one coming out on like Friday or maybe Saturday. But um, yeah. Have a good one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed.